This is the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 and these are the top of the line when it comes to wireless Bluetooth headphones in the Bowers & Wilkins lineup. Now these are a pair of headphones that will cost you 700 US dollars which does place them in the high end premium section of wireless Bluetooth headphones. The question then becomes does the PX8 deserve your consideration when looking at high end wireless Bluetooth headphones? The PX8 headphones were released in September of 2022. The headphones you see here are in the black color, but they can be purchased in tan as well. A link has been provided in the description below with real-time discounts as applicable. The headphones do not feel cheap at all and are definitely not an issue for people with larger heads. The PX8s share a lot of similarities with the PX7S2, only the PX8 does it with high-end finishes and looks a lot more luxurious. There are six microphones used in the PX8 X8s to assist with call quality and noise cancellation. You will get a chance to sample the noise cancellation and transparency modes later in the video. The PX8 uses cast aluminum telescoping arms and Nappa leather on the headband and the outer ear cups, which makes the unboxing experience that much better. The headphones smell like fine leather when you first take them out the box. The Bowers & Wilkins badging is prominently displayed on the center of the outer ear cups. You also get the L and R on the inside of the ear cup to ensure you know which ear goes where. The PX8s are not a collapsible pair of headphones headphones very similar to the Mark Levinson number 5909, the Focal Batis, and the Bowers & Wilkins PX7S2 headphones. The PX8 headphones weigh about 316 grams. Now the PX8 is heavier than the PX7S2, which weighs about 306 grams, but lighter than the Focal Batis, which weigh about 358 grams, and the Mark Levinson number 5909, which weigh about 354 grams. The PX8 leans more so to the heavier side, but the weight is evenly distributed. These are a pair of headphones I have no problems wearing during long listening sessions. The ear cups also rotate 180 degrees, so you have the option to decide how the headphones will rest while not in use. The PX8 headphones are using custom designed 40 millimeter dynamic carbon cone driver units with revised magnet, voice coil, and surround. Now this is supposed to make the listening experience more accurate and real. We will be discussing sound later in the video and you will get a chance to sample how the headphones Phone sound as well. Please make sure you have a good set of headphones ready for easy listening. The ear cups on the PX8 headphones are deep, wide, and plush. In my opinion, they feel a lot more comfortable than the PX7S2. Now, I have had no issues with my ears touching the inside of the ear cups with either the PX8 or the PX7S2. Both headphones are also tilted on the inside, very similar to the Bose line of headphones for comfort. The clamping force is below average. The PX8s are a really comfortable pair of headphones. There's also cushion at the top of the headband to assist with fatigue and the cushion around the ear cups are soft and plush. They also do a great job with sound isolation. The case that comes with the headphones was really thought out and provides the needed protection. The Bowers & Wilkins branding is embedded on the front and the case has a protective shell to protect the headphones. Opening the case on the right side at the top, there's a pretty deep magnetic compartment area for the USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to 3.5 millimeter cables and plenty of room to fit the headphones. Both sides are covered in a soft layer so you don't have to worry about your headphones getting scratched in the case. Now there are no mesh areas for miscellaneous items, which would have been great, but the case does exactly what it was intended to do, which is provide excellent protection while not in use. Battery life is advertised at 30 hours. Now real life usage for me has been about 33 hours, which is about the standard for headphones being released at the time of this video. Now this will depend on how you actually use your headphones, but battery life has been pretty solid. And for those times that you forget to charge your headphones, there is a 15 minute quick charge that will get you seven hours of battery life on the go. Battery life has definitely not been a concern 
with the PX8 headphones. The PX8 headphones utilize physical buttons to control the headphones. On the right ear cup from top to bottom, you have the power button, which also acts as the Bluetooth pairing button, the volume up button, press the middle button once to play pause or to answer and end a call, press twice to skip tracks, three times for previous tracks, the lower button lowers the volume. Below that, you have the USB-C charging port that also plays the music. The USB-C to USB-C cable can be used for higher audio quality and will work wirelessly while connected to another device. Now we will be coming back to the USB-C port later in the sound section. On the left side, you have the quick action button, which if you tap once will initiate the noise cancellation feature, pass through or turn off pass through and noise cancellation altogether. I would not recommend working out with the PX8 headphones. The headphones do not have an IP rating, so you would be using them at your own risk if an excessive amount of moisture enters the headphone. The PX8 headphones are not a pair of headphones that will be known for its features, but the app will provide you the ability to switch between noise cancellation, pass through, and turning both off altogether. But as we previously discussed, you can do this on the headphones as well. There is an EQ provided with the PX8 headphones. It is a two band equalizer, but at least Bowers and Wilkins have provided us with options that come with the headphones. The headphones will allow for multiple devices to be connected at once. There is an option to make the quick action button a dedicated voice assistant feature. Now you can choose to have the voice assistant feature or change the noise cancellation. Now I personally feel we should be able to do both at this price, but you have to choose which option works best for you. There's an auto standby feature that will place the headphones in a low power state after 15 minutes without use. The wear sensor allows the headphones to stop the music when you take the headphones off. You can change the sensitivity to low, normal, or high. There's a streaming quality section that allows you the ability to choose between reduced data, medium, high, and highest qualities. Now you will need suitable music files to match the streaming quality, so keep that in mind. Other than that, there are things like renaming the headphones, factory reset, ensuring the headphones are up to date, and etc. You do have the ability to stream your music through Deezer, Tidal, or Cobuzz and the Bowers and Wilkins app. Me personally, I would keep those accounts separate from my Bowers and Wilkins account, but the option is there if you need it. On the negative side, the headphones must be charged in order to use them. The ability to adjust the transparency and use low or high noise cancellation has been removed from the PX7S2 and the PX8, and the Bowers and Wilkins app actually requires you to sign in in order to do anything extra with the headphones. Most apps allow you to download the apps and do whatever you need to do without actually having to sign in. Now, there are some privacy concerns that I will be discussing later when it comes to apps that comes with headphones. Just know that if you want to do anything extra with the PX8 headphones, you are required to actually sign in the Bowers and Wilkins app to do so. The PX8 headphones have the ability to use aptX adaptive, aptX HD, aptX AAC, and SBC. The headphones also support Bluetooth 5.2. The headphones have no problem at all with YouTube, Hulu, and Netflix. With all that being said, let's check out how the call quality, noise cancellation, transparency, and sound leakage work in the real world. This is a test of the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 call quality in a quiet environment. This is a test of the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 call quality in a simulated noisy cafe. All right, so this is a test of the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 call quality in a simulated airplane cabin. This is a test of the transparency mode on the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 headphones.
So what do you guys think? The call quality is really good. The quiet room test was loud and clear. The simulated airplane cabin test and the simulated noisy cafe test was almost as clear as the quiet room test. The headphones do a very good job at suppressing the noise and the background, making them a very efficient pair of headphones for calls in any environment. The noise cancellation isn't quite on the scale of the Sony WH-1000XM5s nor the Bose QC45, but they do a pretty good job at canceling the noise around you. Now, I've used these headphones in a construction zone and on the train, and I will say that they've been pretty useful in both situations. Playing some music in the background while having the noise cancellation activated should get rid of a lot of the noise going on around you. The transparency mode is really good with the PX8 headphones. The sound is more natural, not robotic. Now it's not going to be as crisp as something like Apple's AirPods Max, but the transparency mode would certainly get the job done when needed. As far as sound leakage, the test you just heard was conducted at 50% volume at approximately 24 inches away. Now this is really good for a train setting, a plane setting, or an environment where people are working in close proximity. Proximity. The PX8s get very loud, but the headphones do a really good job controlling the sound leakage. I don't think you're running into many issues with sound leakage using the PX8 headphones. Our next section will allow you to hear the music as we hear it here using our binaural microphones. This is where you'll need those headphones. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It starts with this, a person that you miss. Mind draws a blank. I wanna go back, back to the early days when life was an escape. Now I just wait for better days. So what do you guys think? The tracks you just heard were played at 16-bit, 44.1, or at CD quality. Now this was done using the USB-C cable and the circuitry included with the PX8 headphones. See, the PX8 allows you the ability to listen to tracks up to 24-bit 48 without having to go out buying an additional DAC amp setup. Now the compression when uploading a video will lower the quality of the track or the sample. In my opinion, the PX8 headphones sound great. The headphones give you just enough in the highs department without sounding sibilant and the lows are deep and punchy. The PX8 headphones definitely will give you that thump that's needed in certain tracks, but that thump doesn't go overboard to where it sounds muddy. The PX8 headphones will not let you down in the lows department. Voices sound natural and upfront. The music sounds vibrant and alive, especially with the USB-C cable connected. There's also an equalizer included in the app. The soundstage is pretty wide. It's not right at your ears. It's wider than something like the Sony WH-1000XM5, but not quite as wide as something like the Focal Batiste. But I would definitely get these headphones if you listen to a variety of genres these headphones do very well with hip hop and R&B, but they do equally as well with something like metal or rock and classical music. You can easily hear those little extras in the track, these subtle but very important nuances of a song that help to bring out that song. The headphones also get really loud, perfect for those who want to get lost in the music. These are not a pair of headphones where you have to turn them up to 90% to get the best out of them. If you have the 700 US dollars it costs to purchase these headphones, then in my opinion, the PX8 definitely deserve your consideration and may be worth looking at if you are in the market for high-end wireless Bluetooth headphones.